Welcome back to Low Resolution. It's me, BT. We're back. Uh, last time we fought a boss, did a little breaking and entering, and now we're in this delightful town with a lot of strange looking ghosts. So if I remember correctly, we have to go somewhere to help a guy with some stuff. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, let's see if I can even remember where I was going. I think I had to go help out at the tavern. This is a totally new recording sesh, by the way, if you haven't noticed already. Uh, tavern, right? Oops. Um. I remember right, I think that was down a little bit more. Just leave me alone. All right, Shirley. Shirley, please, just listen. No means no. How many times do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? I just don't want you to do anything rash. Stop it with your berating. Lies hard enough as it is. And I gotta be lectured 24-7 too? If I weren't already dead, your scolding would have killed me. Bruh, come on, we just want to help. Don't gotta be so cold. You don't want to deal with my cold self, huh? Good news for you, because you won't have to for long. Oh no, she's going to the cave of delusions. Jerry, why did you say that? Uh, sorry about that, man. He kind of reminds me of, uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. That's just kind of the vibe that I get from his ghosty character. I thought telling her what's up would help. Usually does it for me, at least. Eee. What now? Hey, uh, we heard everything. Mary. As you can see, we're in a bit of a predicament. To think that she would go so far as to go into the key. <laughs> I don't know why that threw me off a bit. I think I should go get her. Whoa well, there, bucko. I'm with Mary on this one. She's a goner already. Nobody's ever left the cave. I don't know if I believe in the supernatural and all, but... If there are fates worse than death, that cave's where you'll find them. Well, the more we wait, the more certain that we are of that. I have to rescue her. What kind of guardian would I be otherwise? Maybe if we all go, we'll have a better chance? No. I could never live with myself if I lost one loved one, much less all of you. 
Hello. So send the new guy in there. I get it. Will you help me save my granddaughter? Eh. I guess. Good chance to prove yourself. Okay. That's what I like to hear. But Frank, what if you don't come back? Well, at least we'll have tried. Lost my granddaughter once. Won't let that happen again. Come on, let's go. Surely went into the cave of delusions. It's right up there. Ah, yes. The sign that says cave of delusions. Of course. We can make preparations if we need to, but more we wait to slimmer our chances. Unlocked a new figment. Solitude. Having seen Shirley's lonely spirit, you've unlocked a new figment of self. Solitude. Use it to your advantage through barraging apparitions. It's many skills in a single turn. Cool. So, it said to make preparations. I wonder if I'll need to grind it all to go through this cave, but I have another figment now, so that's kind of cool. Grit, camaraderie, callousness, and solitude. I like how callousness is just a big brick wall. Just a big thick boy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save just uh, shits and gigs because I'm guessing there's probably gonna be another boss fight in there, but if there is, I'll just like find all the enemies in the way to grind some levels. Even though I don't, I hate to say grind in a game like this because it's like a RPG light. But, uh, who knows? We might have to do a little quote-unquote grinding. Let me tell you about the Cave of Delusions. It may not look that bad, but we really don't know what it is. All we know is that it's got something to do with one's inner psyche. It warps reality and can affect can affect people in unexpected ways. Nobody has ever come out of this place. Let's not let our guard down. Alright. Sounds good to me. There might be enemies down here. There is. There's also another ladder that way. Let's fight this guy. Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker. Okay, so it's said. Deals basic damage to the target. It's 1.4. Five damage if the user's AP is three or higher. Wait, really? Um, I might. Hmm. Oh shit! We're walking with forty-three AP now. Let's hit these dudes with the poisons. And then you SP equal to twenty percent of the defense.
Let's let's buff this new guy. Just uh, see what happens. And we also protect. Ouch. Forget that I have mimicry. I don't know what they do for sure, though. That's the other thing. Why does everybody want to attack that guy? Jesus. Alright, you asked for it. Whoa. I did not expect it to go that fast. That's what she said? Okay. One down. Everybody wants to attack you for some reason. And just defend. Of course. Um, let's start attacking. This guy, since you like to throw three hits in a row. Take the ass. And then also, let's get some heal over time with you, me boy. Yeah, you could take another hit. Ouch. You killed him. How dare you. Still only two, huh? Or 
actually, first time we can use our revive. Nice. Oh, I probably will only hit him for two. So let's do shelter since you're low health. finally died good 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 nice all right boys let them have it slowly but surely we're getting there you should heal. Kind of living life on the edge. And keep defending this guy. Oh, I didn't heal the right person, did I? <clears throat> Whoops. attack and regular attack. Oh, you think we can do five? Let's go. Hit him for six. That's what's up. I'm guessing there might be more enemies down here. Contemplate my life. Is there a... It looks like there's something in here, but I don't know if I can get it. Look at his face. He just looks so happy to be here. Talking about the older gentleman. What's his name? Frank. Oh, this doesn't look like a a boss room. Um, uh, tell you what. Just to play it safe, we'll uh we'll go right into this in the next episode. But until next time. Bye, I love you.